Hey, good morning, you guys. I just was doing something with my crazy quilt. I mean, my slow stitching um, project of the week. And I was adding sequins and beads. And so that's what I used. Because now in my last video, I kind of just stuck this piece of rickrack in there in that little ladder looking thing. And so then I thought, well, how will I glue it down? Well, put it down. And I did it with sequins and beads. Then I started going around this flower and I thought, well, I'll put that. I will um, put that as a, another little item. And so what I, what I do, now if you, got, um, if you got a kit from me, then you've got a little package of sequins and you got a little package of these seed beads. And so then you're all set there. But um, they're very inexpensive if you go to purchase them. So what I've done, I come up the bottom with a the needle and thread. I'm gonna put an extra little stitch in there just to make sure that's in there tight. Um, and just at the beginning of the thread because I'll use the thread some more. Then I'll take a sequin. The sequin is got a little bitty hole in the middle of it. Just a little bitty hole in the middle of it. And so I'm going to put that over the th needle. Put that, run the needle through it. And there it is. See, there it's down there. So now I'm going to go get a, a bead. I'll take a bead and I'm going to put the bead through there. Okay, so see, now the bead is on top of the sequin. Now I'm going to put this needle back through that same hole on the sequin. And it's a little fiddly, but this is slow stitching, so you take your time. So there, I just, now, now that seed is on that sequin, and it's in there good. I always, on when I'm doing these... I like to just put a little extra stitch right in behind it just to kind of hold it steel there. And then I'm going to come up. I'm going to go all around that hexagon flower. So I'm put another one. And I'm not, I'm just doing a mixture of colors. You can get all color coordinated if you want to, but I'm just getting the mixture of colors and I'm putting them on there. And I believe that is just going to make my my flower jump. See, I put the sequin on, then I put the bead. Now I'm going to put my needle back through the center of that sequin, right where it sits. I'm going to put that in there, and then that, and you only have to thread it on once. And now that bead is stuck on there, on that, um, and then I'm going to put a little stitch in the back just to hold it there. And see, here now you'll have to make sure you have a narrower needle a thinner needle so that it'll fit through the hole of the sequin and the hole of the bead. So now I've got my thread. I just got it up about a half an inch further and put that sequin on there through that hole. There it is. There it sets right there. And um, and then I'm going to get a, a bead and put the bead there. Now the bead just went right down to where it belongs. And then I'm going to go right back through that same hole in that sequin and pull that thread through the back. And, and then I'll get that. Like I say, I put just a little stitch right there in the back. And then there, that one's in there. And you got enough thread on there to do one more. So I'm going to Put, I got I got that thread pulled through, so it's coming out of the fabric where I want that next sequin. So I'm put a sequin. I'll pick a gold one here. Put that down. There it went right down the th thread and landed on the fabric. See there. Now I'm gonna get a bead. Let's see. We'll get a gold bead too. And then I'm gonna. There with a bead on the floor. Well, there we go. I got my bead. Put that on the needle. And then it'll go right down there and set on that sequin. It went right down there and sat right there on that sequin. Now go back in with your needle right into that hole of the sequin. And then pull that down. 
and see there how it just pulled that is the sequin and then the bead just be sure and go back through that same hole on that sequin each time and um And then put a little thread in there. A little, I put an extra little. Now my thread is getting too short. I'm gonna get me a longer piece of thread on there. And pull that down, make a little knot to hold it still. And, um, and then I'm gonna snip that thread off of there. And then I'm gonna get me a fresh piece of thread. And so, just a lightweight thread, that's all you need. I'm using this here polyester um, thread. For me, that works fine. But any kind of thread that you might have will work. And um, I was gonna say this thread's kind of hard to see, but you know what, it might be just me. So I'm gonna get that in there. Thread that needle and put it over here by the light bulb. Get that in there. Well, well, Elizabeth, maybe I have to get my needle threader out. Okay, it went in there. Okay, it's funny. I usually don't have any trouble, even without my glasses. I usually don't have too much trouble threading a needle. I don't know why that is. That's kind of weird. I guess I'm holding my mouth right or something. And so, I get that. And I use both of the strands of thread on this, so I get, um, I use both the strands of thread. Sometimes I use, on some things I just use a single thread, but on this, I'm using a, this is a very lightweight thread. It's strong, but it's thin. Okay. And so now I'm going to go again with, get my next, my ne next one up. I'm putting mine about a half an inch apart, but I'm going all the way around. All the way around. Where's that little, oh. Okay, I'm going all the way around, and because I'm just starting a new thread, I'm going to put a little extra stitch there just to make sure that's in there tight. And then I'll pick me up another sequin. I'll get a purple one now. I'm just doing all kind of colors because I just like all colors. This will really make this 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 piece um, really sparkle, see? So there is that purple one. It's right down there. And... I'll get a la lavender bead. I'm getting all kind of coordinated here now. And then I got that bead down there. And so now I'll go back through the hole in that sequin. Make sure, oops. Okay. Elizabeth, why don't you have your glasses on? Now, pull that through there. And always check, make sure your thread comes through. Make sure, because sometimes I get a little knot on there. And there we go. Now the thread's all the way through. And so then I'll go back here and just secure it with a real small stitch right there. It just secures it a little bit. And, um, okay. And then I'm going to pull my thread back up about a half an inch here. I'm still going around that flower. Look, I put a little safety pin on the flower to go. See how I just put that little safety pin there? That's a cute little look too, just to have a simple, something simple as a little safety pin. And um, and just pin it, I just pinned it to the flower. I like the way that looks. Okay, and then see if I can get that through that hole. Does that one not really have a hole? Oh there, yeah, it has a hole. Okay, there we go. And then I'll get, here's a clear bead. I'll just put a clear one on there. If I can keep it in my fumble fingers. There we go. Let's put that on there. I soon have to get in the shower and get ready for my little appointment. And um, 
I don't like leaving my home. I do not like it. But, and I've got a bad habit, too, of I'll have an appointment and then I'll cancel at the last minute, you know, and not go. But now that I have my children, our, our transportation, our children, they're taking turns bringing us to doctors and stuff. And so, so I can't cancel. My children will yell at me. I don't like to be yelled at. So there we go. So I'll finish this up and um, then probably go get my shower. You always have to make sure you shower good before you ever go to a doctor's appointment. Make sure that you're smelling all purdy and stuff. Make sure you don't smell like the inside of a, a dog house or something. Which this is a dog house. I'm going back through the hole in the in the in the sequin. I love this look. And it's just a little st stitch to tack that. And and one other thing, you know, I do paper crafting and other kind of crafting too. And so you can do something like this for just a little while. And um and then you can just set it down. Like this I started on Monday. And this is already Thursday. Is it Thursday? Yeah, and so I just work on it so slowly. Look at this is a clear sequin. I wonder how that'll look. And and so I might go and work on paper crafting some. My son just started a new craft. He was bringing, brought it over and was showing me yesterday how far he's got on it. And he's using foam board and he's making stones. They look just like stones. And, and so I was watching what he's doing. And, and see, I don't need to get into nothing new, but, but it looks so cool. And I'm thinking about re you know, altering a cigar box to make it look like the whole thing is made out of stone. And and he's doing it just with um with foam board that you get from the dollar store. Dollar he got his from the family dollar for a dollar for this foam board. But gosh, just the way he paints it and the way he just it's just I love it. I just love it. And so, I'm probably going to be working on some of that, too. And, um, and so I go back and forth. Like, see, I might, you know, I might work on this for a little bit, and then a little bit I'll just, um, go work on something else while this just sits here. And see, and I have more than one place that I craft in my house. So... Because of that, I am blessed. I'm blessed to have all them places, but hey, I don't do anything else, so why not? And so I could have my my stone stone yard set up somewhere, and then I could just leave it and then come back here and do some of this for a while. And so that's the way I work. Okay, see, now that's the last one that'll go around my flower. I put a purple sequin there. I'm pur purple bead on there. Okay, and then, so I'll put that right on that needle. And then I'm going to go and... And I'm going to... Um, now this is where I, my videos are are different than some because now somebody might start to do two or three and then they'll say okay well I'm gonna do the rest of them but I'm gonna speed it up well I don't I don't those kind of videos for me are very hard to follow because I I want to see them do the stuff I don't want to watch the um, whole thing and fast forward so I don't do that speed up thing maybe it's because I don't even know how but um there might be sometimes maybe I'll just pause the video and finish up a something. But most of the time you're going to see me um, in real time, whatever I do. So there we go. Now I'll get that. I'll get that um, put on there. And there we go. Put that in my needle cushion. And there I have... 
I went all the way around that flower with the sequins and the seed beads and look how pretty that is. I think it is so pretty. Now there's a lot more I have to do on here because see I want to get some stitching around these separate pieces. I have this little piece right here and I got one like that up there. But you know I want to show you one other thing. I use this this um, school glue. Now sometimes you might have a piece and maybe you want to just put it want it to hold still while while you um, stitch. So I'm going to put this I want this to be like right here, right? Right here. And so I got that glued on there. Now that that one will stay right there until I put stitching around that cuz I'll put some kind of stitching around that and um and that'll be very nice. And so I put the be seed beads with the sequins along here and it held that rick rack down and I put it all the way around that flower. I might even put some in these leaves. Maybe to make them leaves even more give them more poppage. But that that I just wanted to show you that now before I get ready to start up my day. But let me read you something. Thank you all who already have watched my um, video from in the middle of the night. Um, let's see. Let me see what I'll read today. Remember, okay, here we go. We're going to read, remember what is most important. It's not having everything go right. It's facing whatever goes wrong. It is not being without fear. It's having determination to go on in spite of it. What is most important is not where you stand, but the direction you're going in. It's more than never having bad moments. It's knowing you are always bigger than the moment. It's believing you have already been given everything you need to handle life. It's not, it's not being able to rid the world of all its injustices. It's being able to rise above them. It's a belief in your heart that there will always be more good than bad in the world. Remember to live just one day and, excuse me, remember to live just this one day and not add tomorrow's troubles in today's load. Remember that every day ends and brings a new tomorrow full of exciting new things. Love what you do. Do the best you can and always remember how much you are loved. And that is beautiful. That was written by Vicki M. Warsham. That's beautiful. I have to fill my books full of bookmarks. I just think that's the greatest look is all the bookmarks sticking out there. You know, I put a bookmark in all my favorites. Most of my favorites get a bookmark. And so actually this whole book should have bookmark in every page. But this is from the book You Are Stronger Than You Know. Words of hope and encouragement for someone living with a chronic illness. And so, and that's most of us. That's most of us. Especially when you get into this, what they call old age or elderly or retirement or however they want to call it. Your sundown in years or your autumn years or whatever. We've all pretty much got a little, oh, sorry about all them, um, ding dings just think of it as being little christmas bells in february my notifications okay um i don't even hear them anymore i hear them so much that i don't even hear them but i have heard some people it gets on some people's nerves okay so i'm gonna go get ready for my doctor's appointment and i may even come back and make make another video this afternoon i don't know it depends on what I feel like after my nap, because naps are important. Okay, I ask God to watch over you every step you take, every move you make, and I will see you on the next video. Off to the shower I go.